Welcome to this edition of the Audio Journal. If you haven't listened to the Audio Journal episodes before, these episodes are a little different than what I normally create on this podcast. Normally, of course, I do guest interviews, but I also do episodes where I go in depth into a specific topic related to writing or productivity or success or something like that. Uh, These episodes are different in the sense of they are off the cuff, they're on the fly, they're just as things happen to me in my everyday life. And if I think something will be helpful or inspiring uh, to some degree, then I'll do an audio journal episode on that. So today I am actually waiting for my son. I'm sitting in my wife's car. She has my truck today, so I've got her car. And I'm sitting in the parking lot of my son's new job. He just got a new job and he's inside filling out some paperwork. And just a minute ago, a Taylor Swift song came on the radio. And I was kind of laughing to myself because it reminded me of a conversation that I had with a good friend of mine just a couple months ago. He's a huge Taylor Swift fan, and uh, of course she put out a new album this summer. Uh, if you're, and if you don't know any Taylor Swift stuff, that's totally cool. This will hopefully still be relevant to you. But she put out kind of a surprise new album this summer. He loved it. I listened to it. I thought it was just okay. Um, it wasn't really my cup of tea, but I like a lot of her earlier stuff, her more acoustic and pop-driven kinds of stuff. Anyway, I was talking to this friend, and what I thought was so cool about Taylor Swift's new album was that she decided she was just going to make an album during the pandemic. You know, I'm sure she had, she probably had a tour planned and maybe had a studio album planned for maybe the fall or next year, but the pandemic happened and she just decided, hey, I'm going to, I'm cooped up, I'm quarantined. So why not take this opportunity to make an album? And I just thought that was really the coolest thing. And it reminded me of how oftentimes as writers and as creatives and as artists, we're just waiting for something magical to happen before we put our work out there. And I can't tell you how many writers I've talked to over the years, and this applies to myself as well, uh, I'm really guilty of this, who we're just waiting for somebody to give us permission. We're waiting for some person of influence to validate us we're waiting for that, you know, those those people in our lives who we really look up to to give us a thumbs up or to somehow give us an indication that we're supposed to move forward. We're supposed to write that book. We're supposed to publish it. We're supposed to uh, create that blog or that podcast or whatever. And when that validation or that thumbs up never comes, then we just kind of sit back in the corner and we just, we just wait. And when I saw Taylor Swift's song come on the radio, I just thought, man, what are we waiting for? We're always just waiting for something to happen to give us that that thumbs up or give us that green light. When, you know, Taylor Swift, arguably, you know, one of the biggest pop stars in the world, she just decided to create something. She didn't ask anybody's permission. She just decided to do it with, if, if I have my facts straight, a relatively small crew of people or a relatively small band. And I just thought that was pretty cool. So, hey, if there's something today that you're you're waiting on, you're waiting for some kind of affirmation from somebody, you're waiting for that thumbs up or that green light, I just want to ask you, what are you waiting for? Uh, whose validation, whose approval are you waiting for? Just do it. Just put it out there and see how it blesses the world. I'm guilty of this sometimes, of course. Um, I think all of us are to a degree. But hey, let's just let's just take this opportunity to get it done. 2020 is a weird year anyway, so hey, why why not? Let's let's make this a weirder year. Let's just put our stuff out there and let go of our perfectionism and put our work, put our put our creativity out there so it can bless people. I'll see you in the next episode.